As world travelers, we are often asked what place on earth we like the most. It's actually a very hard question. What makes a place special or unforgettable is not only how crystal blue is the water, how old are the buildings or how cool your photos look. What matters most beyond everything else is the human aspect, the experience, the exchange and the interactions with other persons who are sharing that place and time with you. We are George and Diego. We quit our jobs to renew a tiny 50-year-old sailboat to live on the sea. Once we put ourselves out there, life made its turns and we moved to a more comfortable home, just to lose it a few months later to the biggest hurricane in history. We were already in love with boat life, and as stubborn sailors we are, we didn't give up. 20,000 nautical miles later, here we are in Unforgettable Tree, following our dreams how far further from where we started. Subscribe and join our life at sea. We had a quick passage through Fiji, and not really cruising how we are used to. We are involved in a working routine, getting the boat ready for the next leg. However, at any time off we had, we would jump out of the boat and explore these magical islands. Today we're gonna have some fun, we're gonna explore a little bit of Fiji, we go on a boat tour and just visit some islands. Now we're in the whole video. <laughs> you can do no, it it's nice, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, do some snorkeling, some surf, maybe. Let's see how the waves are. And yeah, it's a beautiful day. I'm ready to go. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. No waves there? The guys that get Very small. Now you can say you surf cloud break? Yeah, that would be a stretch, but literally, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Bula is the way to greet in Fiji, and it actually means life. It should be spoken loud, no room for shyness, and maybe this explains the abundance of life we found in Fiji. What's up, dude? Yeah, not much, not much, just chilling. Nice sandbank in the middle of Fiji Island. Babe, so, you really need a haircut, I'm sorry. A haircut and a sunglass, right? <laughs> Your hair is really funny now. Well, maybe I can get this sorted this week. You asked me before, these islands are the Mamanuka Islands, right in front of uh, 
uh, Nandi, where the boat is. And uh, further north, we have the Yazawa. Hopefully, we can get there some some point. Yeah, it seems so pretty. It does, it does. But this is also really nice, huh? Already really good. Yes. Mamanuka. I really want to come here with our boat. Yeah. So we can stop wherever we want and spend as much time as we want. Next year, babe, next year. Yeah. It got me stone cold. Since it's Marco in this very nice place and we are surrounded by fish already. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what's underwater. Yeah. <laughs> the fish are hitting me. They are so cold. They are hitting me. <laughs> These little bastards, they attack us, they bite us, really! No, they are attacking Georgia now! <laughs> Thanks, Captain. It's a great Very day, nice. man. Thanks for coming along. Good times. Yeah, so if you are coming to Fiji, Sobby just look for this guy. <laughs> yeah, for our cats. The best adventures. The crew really needs some haircuts, so we decided we are doing it today. <laughs> it's always something to go to a new hairdresser. You never know what's gonna happen, but... Well, it grows and I think it won't be better than when I cut myself or when I cut your hair, so... No, it won't be worse than me. Yeah, sorry, it won't be worse. A resilient people who had been through a lot, a never-ending political turmoil, cyclones every other year, social inequality and corruption are not enough to take the happiness away from Fijians. The locals love to talk and to know more about you and your life. They won't take long to invite you to go to their homes and share a meal. Simbera! 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 
I have no idea what's happening, but it's fun. In one of these occasions, we had one of the most genuine and touching experiences of our years at sea. A very sweet lady we met invited us to dinner and to drink kava at her home. And there we share wonderful moments with her family. Wow, that's pretty. Very good. I have some hairdressers now. A simple wooden home, packed with people and love, was the perfect reminder of the true treasures of a sail. Not gold, not gems, although we will treasure these memories as such. So pretty. Yeah, nice sunset. Yeah, it's uh, worth the ride. It's, it's quite a far drive, but really pretty. That's not very much what we expect from Fiji when we hear about it. Like you just think about crystal clear waters and sandy beaches. Yeah. But there are actually some mountains and they're pretty cool. Yeah, Fiji the has been a surprise, a great surprise. Yeah. In this actually, the mountains are quite dry, not so green like French Polynesia, for example. But it's a different landscape, so it's cool too. Yeah, and it's a huge island. Yeah, it's it's pretty big. Find similarities and differences, seeking understanding is what makes travel worth it. An experience is only valid if you make use of it. And learn with and about people is what inspires to keep us traveling. Without the human aspect, all pristine beaches don't take long to look the same. And without the true engagement with locals, a visit lacks the necessary depth for admiration and comprehension. The importance of travel and the purpose of it is to make us humble, to keep us unbalanced, unsure, uncomfortable, naked from our certainties and judgments. Going for a sunset dinghy ride at the mangroves nearby the marina. Mm -hmm. Diego is checking how deep it is. This deep. Too deep. Okay. Deep enough. <laughs> okay, we touched the, the bottom. <laughs> Time to go back. Bad captain. Well, it would happen sooner or later. Maybe on the high tide we can go further. Yeah. Yeah. You're stuck it? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll fix it. Vale, Diego. It's very sharp, look at this. <laughs> but you know, I think if you, me and you down, we can just pass that part and then that I is better. <laughs> no, just try and... You, you are very optimistic, but let me go. Oh, me go here, we're gonna here, we let the jig here and we go. There he go. The brave explorer. <laughs> Do you think the dinghy can make it? I think so. <laughs> no, we thought me and you. We are the two heavy guys here. <laughs> Tem ele aqui, ó. Essa é a curva, tá vendo, ó? Tá vendo? Afundou aqui, ó. A curva faz isso. Então você tem que passar bem aqui na bordinha. Mas a gente tem que ir ali na frente e deixar ali na frente vai pro tempo. So I think now we can uh, start the engine again. Going. Ooh, ooh. Please give some proportion. <laughs> 
scary. <laughs> oh, the good thing is now the tide is going right. up. Yeah. Yeah. So lower than that, it's not going. Watch your head, have to duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Time this is to the go end. Back. All right. Snakes. Ah, there is no the snakes here. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. The captain is very pushy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And I'm flying the drone. I'm trying to fry. Are you trying to fry the drone? Fry the drone. Pass them. Very shallow, Paulo. Very shallow. This one here. This one. I stop flying. It's fast. Okay. Yeah. yeah, maybe on the high tide I think we could go through, but now on low tide, definitely not. Time to go back, Paulo? Yeah, it started to be dark, we have more half an hour of light, so we're going to start back a little bit. What can you tell us about the mangroves, Diego? The mangrove, it's a very, very important environment. It uh, acts as a protector from the shore, from the storm surges and uh, also filters the water so and also is a nursery for many many species so it's, a, it's, a, it's an environment with high ecological importance so many fish come here to, to, to have their babies and also not only fish and other creatures and also produce lots of oxygen as Paul was telling us so very important and Many times it's just like uh, neglected because they smell bad. They are not like uh, so pretty or so pleasant to walk uh, to swim. But it's very important, and well, they are destroyed all over the place to build all, all sort of shit. So uh, save the mangroves. Ooh. Too bad. No, very nice. All right, Diego, you protect us. Oh, watch out, watch out. <laughs> watch your head. Watch your head. Uh, uh, watch out. Uh. Nice. Well done. You made it. <laughs> <laughs> The true treasure of a sailor, if it could be measured, would be in number of heartbeats, and how many souls you touch and allow to touch you, how many naked rain showers you took, and how many times you screen your lungs off out of joy. The true treasure of a sailor also consists of all the times you had to jump into the unknown just to find out something way better than anticipated. We came to Fiji without any expectations. We leave Fiji full of reasons to come back. Bula Vinaka! Bula. 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 It's all gone.